Hello everybody, welcome to Nature Calls and this is this is the perfect intro for talking about your solar roof and how it works with rain because well <laughs> we got quite a rainy day out here. Okay, so how does a Tesla solar roof work with rain? Well, uh, it works really well. That is, that is the short an answer. Um, the long answer is, well, why does it work really well? Well, because of these glass tiles and how slick they are, the water, the water just runs off this thing. It, 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 it sprints off this roof, and it should sprint off most Tesla solar roofs. Unless you have a very low peak to your roof, um, the water should just slide right off of it. And uh, as you can see, we got a good flow coming out of here. Now this is a, uh, you know, I would say a, a medium rainstorm. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, no, no torrential downpours. You know, it's not, it's not the prettiest out here, but uh, it's, it's definitely not, uh, you know, hurricane status by, by any means. So we'll look at a couple other parts of this roof to help give you a better idea. And I also shot some close-ups on another rainstorm so you guys can see how fast the water just jumps off this roof. And in some cases, it literally jumps off the roof. All right, so now we moved on to uh, the side of the house here. This is a much smaller roof, and it has a downspout from uh, the upper roof. So as I struggle to zoom in here, you can see there is some, there's some massive flow. Look at that flow. And that water is moving. It's moving so much, it's actually jumping over the edge of the roof if we move around here. So every so often, <laughs> it can't handle it because it's just, it's going too fast and it, it drops off the edge. Now, is that really causing any damage down here? No, it's not really causing any issues. Uh, not that I can see. And you know, this roof's been up for uh, several weeks now, and we've had some big storms, including um, a hurricane slash tropical storm. I don't know if it got downgraded by the time it technically hit here. We did have a uh, high 70 mile an hour winds and a good amount of rain. And again, there, there hasn't been an issue. Uh, now, there, there, is, there is some overshooting of the water. Uh, it does overshoot the gutters at some points in time. And uh, that's just something that wasn't a thing when we had a traditional roof. And it is a thing with the Tesla solar roof. I honestly don't think it's a problem. Um, and it's, it's actually quite entertaining. Uh, at the same point in time, I'm not having any kind of property damage from it. Um, around where it lands, it's looking great. Uh, we're still getting great flow out of the gutters as well and out of the downpipes. Oh, this one's this one's really impressive over here. That one receives all the flow from this roof right here and as you can see it's flowing quite good and it has a second downpipe right over here. You can see it right there and that flows all the way down into here. Now some people are probably thinking this is not the most informative video but if you are a homeowner considering this, uh, you can be pretty confident that uh, you know the rain and well snow is probably going to slide right off this roof. Um, at the same point in time, uh, you may have some light overshooting of your gutters based on how much rain is coming down on top of your Tesla solar roof. Uh, for me, it has been a non-issue and everything's been working great. Um, if I do have issues in the future, and uh, you know, if I do for some reason get a lot of wear on my roof from the water here running onto that panel, I'll let you know. Uh, for right now, I see no issue with it, and I'm not having any problems, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. So there is a Tesla solar roof in action as it's raining out here, and I'm, you know, standing in some uh, <laughs> some serious puddles but hey uh we made it happen hopefully you found this information uh useful i know there wasn't there's only so much to say about it but honestly i would not be concerned about the rain 
and it coming down on your roof and your roof being able to you know direct that rain into your gutters and your gutters being able to handle it unless you live in an environment that gets basically monsoons daily if you really live in the tropics then maybe you want some uh, some deeper wider gutters you know my gutters are pretty small maybe you want like eight inch or six inch gutters to be able to catch all that water to be able to direct it down to the ground better uh, but for me in New Jersey there, there's no issue with this even with uh, nor'easterns and things like that of course if it does change if I suddenly have major problems I will keep everybody updated because that's the whole point of this channel I'm just trying to share with you really relevant information about the Tesla products that I own it and just giving you my honest feedback on what I'm experiencing so with that thank you so much for watching uh, please like and subscribe maybe share the video See if uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what a lot of other people think about this. And as always, have an excellent day, and hopefully you're staying drier than me.